Hi, my name is Mark Littlefield and I wanted to show you how to use a simple app called Chatterbox. Now Chatterbox is completely free. There are some upgrades that you can purchase to it like adding music. However, I just simply use the free version and it's very simple to do. So I'm going to open it up. Now the first time you open it up, you're going to have to go through some a few permissions which everybody is probably aware of. But at the bottom you have the camera and you have the little mountains which is to take a photo. So what I'm going to do is use this little Lego guy here that I have and take a picture of him. I'm gonna get kind of close, focus it on him, and take the picture. There we go, and I will choose to use that photo. Now after you use it, you need to focus in the right eye and the left eye. It's pretty self-explanatory. The tricky part sometimes is the mouth. It'll always kind of sort itself out, but most of the time, the things that bug me, I discovered don't really bug the kids at all. And then now down here, the chin will put on the bottom. Now once you start recording, there's no notification. It just starts recording. It's a little microphone down there at the bottom. So as soon as you hit record, it's going to start recording. And the pitch here doesn't matter for recording. It's the playback. Uh, there's kind of a sweet spot. There's no neutralize on it that I can find. Um, but you can find kind of a neutral point. So I'm just going to very quickly hit record and then say, hey, I'm a Lego man. So here we go. Hey, I'm a Lego man. Where are the other guys? Now, if the kids don't hit stop on that, it's just going to keep recording over and over, or it's just going to keep recording until they choose to hit stop on that. So you'll want to have them, or, or go through that a, a few times with them. Sorry about that. So let's hit playback on this now. Hey, I'm a Lego man. Where are the other guys? So you can see it kind of has like a funny sound to it. I can go all the way up, of course. Hey, I'm a Lego man. Where are the other guys? Now, if they hit record and they just let it record for 30, or not 30 minutes, I don't know what the cap is. I want to say the cap is around four or five minutes. Uh, I've let it go for three minutes and so, but once they hit play, there's no way to stop it unless they kill the app and then open it back up. Uh, so I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom. Kind of hard to understand, but there is a sweet spot in there around the middle, you'd think, but it's not always in the middle. Hey, I'm a Lego man, where are the other guys? So it still sounds kind of high for that there, but uh, the kids really don't care. It's more like, it's more something that I care about. So now to share this, uh, you can hit the share button in the bottom right, but if you do want to change where the mouth goes, let's say for instance the mouth was a little too high or low, you can hit that little pin tool down there and that brings the mouth options back up and you can move that stuff around. It still keeps you recording, you don't have to do the recording again. So now I just hit the share button there. It sounds kind of funny when you do it and the kid's kind of like, hey, mine's messing up, but it's really not that big of a deal. And now you just choose to save to the video and then you can upload that to Google Drive and share it with parents. Quite simple to do. Uh, you can also uh, pull pictures offline and upload those as well. So if I go back here and let's go to the photo album right here. Here's a picture I did of myself earlier. There's my son. I can just pull those pictures up there and choose to use those, move the mouth around. Now sometimes when they're crooked, so for this one here, you can see his his mouth's a little crooked. It's gonna be kind of hard. I've noticed if people show their teeth, it's a little funny looking, but hi, my name is Owen. And now we'll watch it. Hi, my name is Owen. You can see his eyes move up and down. The kids really, really love that. Um, what you can do if you wanna have two things going side by side. So here's a chatterbox I did of the girl talking, but you can only do one of those at a time. So what you have to do is you have to do a video of one and then share it or you know save it and then do a video of another one and we would use an app uh, like iMovie. So let's go into iMovie here and there it is. And you'll see here's one that I did a little bit earlier back here, one of my projects. So here it is right here, iMovie 6. And let's go through the edit. So I have two specific clips and you can see that the sister talks on one side and then the boy talks on the other. So those are two separate clips. Now if you wanted them to go side by side, you could do that as well. So I'm gonna delete this one and then go to media and videos. And th the previous one made it look like one particular one talking. Um, but you, you probably wouldn't want to do this with a book cover. So this is a pretty bad example. But you could go side by side. I, I wanted to show you how to do that. So um, like here, I'll, I'll tap on this one here and then hit the three dots, and then I just do the, the side by side, the far right one, tap on that. Uh, let's see here, why is that not working? Let's try this here. I wonder if it's the same clip. Let me try to add this one here. Move the playhead away from the end to add an overlay. Well, let's go to the very beginning then, and let's see if it'll just let us do that.
There we go. So now they're side by side. So sorry about that. I was doing it. So there, there it is, uh, talking back and forth. If you want to do like a talking heads where side by side, this is really a bad example. Sorry about that. But it could go side by side where you have, uh, you know, George Washington and you have Abraham Lincoln talking side by side there, or you are talking to a student or a book character is talking to a book character. So you can really make these characters come to life. It's pretty simple to do. The kids absolutely love it. You could even do something as simple as, let's see if I have a... You could use something like notes to do something really good. So here we go. So I'll open this up and I'm just gonna draw a face here. So let's go here, get rid of this. Let's go full screen and just draw right here. So here we go, here's the nose, and then there's the smile, just like that. I'm gonna take a screenshot of it, just for time and crop that out there. And I could make this, so the kids could, could just do regular drawings on that. And now let's go back to Chatterbox here. And now do a brand new one. Of course, I could have just drawn on paper and done that as well, so there we go. Now it's gonna be, Kind of tricky the way it's cropped in is not ideal for something like this, but you get the idea on this here. Again, I found that when teeth are showing, it's kind of tricky to do. This is just a test, this run. Is just a test run. Now let's play on that. But it's kind of fun. Very simple to do. Very quick, very easy. Kindergartners can do this. All the way up to fourth graders love to do it as well. So enjoy it.